In Matthew chapter 10, verse 30, the Bible says, The number of our hair, the air, are numbered. Our hair, our very air, are numbered. Our hair are numbered. This is very, very important. Our hair is a covering of a man. Hair is an important element. It's an important thing in our body. And today, by the grace of God, we'll be talking about dream about hair. Dream about hair. We all know the importance of hair in the body. Spiritually, hair is just like a cap. It's just like a cap, a spiritual cap. When we are talking about hair, hair represents glory. Hair represents wisdom. Hair represents healing. Hair represents beauty. Hair represents confidence. Hair represents social relationship. So when you are dreaming about hair, then it's telling you about interaction. It's telling you about relationship with people. Hair is something that is so unique to man. Hair is something that brings out the beauty of a woman. When a woman does not have hair, for example, and everything is barb, the, the a real dignity, a real womanhood will not be shown. So hair is very important to woman, as also important to man. So when you are dreaming about hair, several things have to be put together. So dreaming about hair has a number of biblical meanings. As we all know the story of Samson, how Delilah were able to attack the glory of Samson through the hair. Hair in that case can represent power and strength. So anything that is affecting that hair spiritually, then something is about to be manipulated. Now, for example, you saw somebody cutting your hair. Somebody is cutting your hair in the dream. For as long as that person is cutting that hair, it means that that hair is your glory. And once that hair is being cut in that dream, then three things will happen. It will bring suffering. It will bring disgrace. And it will bring embarrassment. Somebody you don't know, perhaps you know the person, and you saw that person cutting your hair. Maybe it's a strange person as well, cutting your hair. It means that person is planning to destroy you. It means that person is taking away your spiritual covering, that protection hedge upon your life. So when you see somebody cutting that hair in the dream, it means that somebody somewhere is manipulating your destiny. It could be your friend. It could be your enemy. It could be somebody that is close to you. Perhaps you are about to achieve something in life. Maybe you are on the threshold. You are at the edge of breakthrough. And this person is coming to come and cut your hair. It can also represent that person is about to take your ideas because hair and ideas have symbolic relationship. It means that that person is about to take your ideas, your vision, your dreams. So if you are a woman and you discover somebody is cutting your hair in the dream, then that represents marital problem. That represents unprofitable relationship. That represents disappointment at the edge of your breakthrough. And I pray for you. Every power, spirit of Delilah, that is coming to your dream to come and cut your hair today. The Lord will expose them. The Lord will kill them. The Lord will shatter their life to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. You now, in some cases, you saw hair growing in strange places on your head. You saw hair growing in strange places. Maybe one part of your hair is being barbed. Another part of that hair is being hair is growing there. That in that aspect, it represents old age. It means you are old. The spirit of old age. The spirit of old. Where somebody will see you and the person will be saying, this person is old. This normally happens to a woman. That this, They will discover that this person is older than an age. So it's the spirit of old age. You have to cast it out. That kind of dream normally comes from a woman that transfer that will transfer that spirit into the life of that woman so you have to cast out the spirit of old age so when in a case where you dream about black hair black hair everybody have black hair 
Black hair is a symbol of glory. Black hair is a symbol of honor. Black hair is a symbol of love and beauty. So when you are seeing your your hair being blacked, then it signifies prosperity. Then it signifies success. Then it signifies favor. Your hair is black. Then it signifies glory. Praise the living Jesus. Maybe in some cases, you saw your hair is dirty. Very, very dirty in that dream. Your hair is dirty. That is pollution. It means bewitchment of your star. It means bewitchment of your glory. Your hair is dirty. When an hair is dirty, it will bring an evil odor. It will chase away people away from you. This normally happens to a woman, especially to some women. Whenever their hair is dirty, they will feel uncomfortable. Sickness can come in. All kind of demonic activities, symptoms, negative meanings can begin to affect that woman. When your hair is dirty, it means your glory has been polluted it means your glory have been manipulated maybe there are some areas of your life that you need to tackle on maybe sin maybe your weakness maybe your character maybe anger maybe unforgiving spirit so when you are having that dirty air then you need to deal with that your, you need to deal with your weaknesses you need to deal with that anger in you because that dirty air is your that dirty air is something is it represents that something is already manipulating your life so you need to wash that thing away. It could be sin. It could be anything. So you need to wash it away by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Because the hair of a woman represents a crown. So when that hair is dirty, then something it will definitely affect a relationship. It will definitely affect a finance. It will definitely affect a marriage. And I pray for you. Any, any part of your hair that is dirty spiritually... The blood of Jesus Christ will wash them away in the name of Jesus Christ. If you see somebody placing their hand on your hair in your dream, somebody is placing a hand on your hair. Once somebody places a hand on your hair, three things will happen. Number one, that person is stealing your virtues. The person is stealing your virtues. Number two, it means that the enemy is manipulating your star. They are manipulating, they are placing their hand on your hair. They are manipulating your star. It represents diversion of destiny. As they place that hand on your hair, your destiny will be diverted. Your destiny will be diverted. So you need to pray very well. Anything that the enemy has stolen from your life, that God should recover it back. Because if you see whether that person is a known person or unknown person touching your hair, placing their hand on your hair, then you need to call on the blood of Jesus Christ to deal with that powers that's stealing your virtues in that dream. It could be married, they are stealing. It could be your key to your business success. It could be your ideas. It could be your relationship. It could be your power. So you need to deal with that person, that strange man, that strange woman that is touching your hair in that dream. In some cases, you see, maybe after going to a salon, your hairdresser, you saw somebody stealing your hair. The person is stealing that your hair, maybe part of your hair in the salon, maybe in the hairdresser, somebody is stealing it then it means that your glory has been stolen away. It means that something that is very, very important to you has been taken away. So I want to ask you, what is that thing that is very important to you in your waking life? Is it your joy? Is it your car? Is it your property? Is it anything? So anything that is very, very important to you, it means that that thing has been stolen away. There are some women that had this dream where another woman will come in their dream and, and, and steal their hair. It means that that particular woman does not want you to marry. That particular woman is sitting on your marital case. So you need to deal with that strange woman that is manipulating your marital glory. When you wash your hair, what happens? It brings, it brings out your beauty. It brings reliefs. It makes you think straight. It's, it, it strengthens focus and passion. It brings wisdom. So when you, when you wash your hair as a woman, it means you are trying to, to change your identity. Maybe perhaps you are, the, the former identity you are holding on is not good. Maybe people are not really appreciating that identity. So when you are washing your hair, you are trying to create that social interaction, social relationship with others. So when you wash your hair, people will now see you. Maybe the opposite sex, maybe the man will now see you and begin to appreciate and begin to no purpose to you so washing air in the dream can represent joy can represent wisdom and can represent longevity in some cases it can represent favor praise the living jesus so when at the same time when you see your hair being short you saw short hair 
it means a short lifespan. Your hair is very short. It means a short lifespan. It means that that person has a very limited time to spend in life. A short lifespan. Your hair is very short. Very short spiritually. It means you have a short lifespan. I pray for you. You will not die untimely in the name of Jesus Christ. So when you have a long hair as a man, you have a long hair that represents witchcraft, marine witchcraft. You have a long hair as a man that represents marine witchcraft. If you are a woman, you have a long hair in the dream that represents marine witchcraft. It's that kind of marine witchcraft, it means that they are really affecting. There's a covenant between you and the marine spirit. When you are having a long hair, a long hair in the dream, it represents spiritual embargo. It means that the enemy are really dealing with your marriage. That long hair signifies marriage. If you are married and keep seeing long hair in your dream, it is not good. It's a bad dream. It's a covenant between you and the marine spirit. It's a covenant between you and the spirit husband or spirit wife, as the case may be. If you have been having long hair, begin to deal with that evil bondage in your life. Praise the living Jesus. Maybe in some cases you always find, you always lose your hair. Your hair is loose. <coughs> always loose. Maybe you sit down, you just discover that one part of your hair is loose. It means your glory is not strong again. It means your vision is not strong again. It means your focus is not strong again. It means something ab about you is being falling away. Your dreams are falling away. Your prosperity are falling away. They are not strong. Your relationship is not strong. Your spiritual life is not strong. So when your head is falling away, it can represent sickness. It can expose you to satanic attack because your heads are falling. Your heads are falling. That means there's a problem. The problem of poverty. A problem is just like also indicate a foundational problem. So you have to deal with that spirit that is that is about to put just shame and disgrace into your life. Praise the living Jesus. So and at the same time, you discover a smelly hair. Your hair is smelly in the dream. When your hair is smelly in the dream, that represents evil odor. That brings rejection and hatred. Your hair is smelly in the dream. It means that there's the pip the pattern. In your family that is making people not to progress is really affecting you evil odor bringing rejection and disgrace bringing suffering nobody's ready to be with you nobody's ready to have a good interaction with you your hair is smelling it, it it's very disgusting isn't it so you need to deal with it you need to pray the blood of Jesus Christ, you place your hand on your head and say, blood of Jesus Christ, wash my head, wash my head, wash my head, purify my hair, purify my hair in the name of Jesus Christ. So those are the dreams about hair. And when in some cases you dream where you're having gray hair, you're having gray hair in your dream, it means protection. It means longevities. It means wisdom. You're having gray hair. Maybe you're a young person and you're having gray hair in the dream. It means you will last long. Gray hair, white hair. It means you will last long. It means you are mature for that particular thing. It means you are, you are going to last long on head. Maybe in some cases, you are the hairdresser. You are, you, are, you are the hairdresser right now. Maybe as a woman, you are the hairdresser. Maybe the work you are doing involves addressing stuff maybe in that same dream you are the addresser so if you are the addresser in that dream and you are doing people's hair that signifies good dream because why because that kind of dream is associated with your career so that means that you are trying to decorate people's destiny you are trying to make someone's life beautiful praise the living jesus praise the living jesus so and at the same time you saw yourself combing your hair you are combing your hair in the dream it means you are trying to look more and more elegant. You are trying to, you know, sell yourself. You are trying to advertise your beauty to people. So those are the dreams about hair. So the interpretation of hair in your dream represents the symbol you attach to it. So if you wake up feeling happy, then dream about hair is good. But when you wake up feeling sad, negative, unstable, terrified, then that dream about hair is telling you that the enemy, they are manipulating the source of your glory, the source of your finance, the source of your marriage, the source of your laughter, and it's attacking your children. Because if you look at the hair spiritually, hair, they are numbered, they are many, which represent children also, which means that somebody will be fruitful. 
black hair combing your hair, it means somebody will be fruitful. But when somebody is touching your hair, when your hair is, f is flying out, when your hair is decay, then that signify something bad is about to come. It's a warning signal that you need to, you, you need to start praying against trouble. You need to start praying against losses and hardship. And I pray for you, every spirit of poverty around your life, I command that spirit to die in the name of Jesus Christ. So what are the causes of a person dreaming about air? Number one cause is sin. Number two is marrying the wrong person. Marrying the wrong person. When you marry the wrong person, it can make your hair to be caught in the dream. You marry the wrong person. Number three, the reason why you were having the causes of hair, number three is when you go when you go to a to a hairdressing saloon, a sa when you go to a hairdresser or when you go to a saloon and you discover that the moment you go there, throughout that time, you will be having headache. You have to stop going to that saloon. You have to stop going to that hairdressing saloon. It's very important to a revelation. They are the causes of those things, of that hair in your dream. So those are the causes behind a person dreaming about hair. So what are the general symptoms about hair in your dream? In a negative perspective, number one, it will bring sickness. Number two, it will bring hardship. Number three, it will bring failure at the edge of breakthrough. Number four, it will bring losses. Number five, it will bring sorrow. Number six, it will bring unprofitable investment. Number seven, it will bring disgrace. Number eight, it will bring joblessness. Number nine, it will bring poverty then number 10 it will bring profitless ad labor so those are the general symptoms about dreaming about air in a negative perspective so what are the way out the way out is give your life to christ repent from every known sin if you can repent from every known sin then it, it, it gives you a proper way to deal with this dream then the other part is break every covenant and causes and the other part you have avoid people touching your hair strange people touching your hair then the other one you have to take anointing oil take anointing oil and use it to cover your hair use that anointing oil and plead it on your hair say god my glory that has been taken away let my glory be restored let my crown be restored praise the living jesus and another way to tackle this dream and to overcome is barricade yourself with the blood of jesus christ so that as soon as they are coming, that blood of Jesus Christ in your life will chase them away. Praise the living Jesus. So what are the instructions? So embark on three days prayer and fasting between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So read Psalm 35, Psalm 70 as a Bible reference. So it will really help to deal with this dream about air in a negative perspective. So if this broadcast has really blessed you, so why can't you invite your friends and family to subscribe to this channel so if you have been dreaming about hair cutting hair stolen hair flying hair somebody's touching your hair in your dream so write that dream at the comment section we are going to respond and interact with you god bless you once again this is evangelist joshua broadcasting from the art of lagos nigeria remain blessed